Well, here's a thousand gallon water tank in the back of a Toyota pickup truck, four cylinder, with a six foot bed. The tank weighs less than 200 pounds, made out of polyethylene. It's five feet in diameter and a little less than eight feet tall. Uh, this one is a little less common. Most of the ones that are readily out, available out there are six feet wide. But you can see this five foot one doesn't even get in the way of the mirrors. But even if it was a foot taller, uh, the wide part of the tank is above the, uh, where you're looking through the mirror. So uh, it would work. You could put a six foot one in here. Um, the reason to do this is one, you save a delivery fee. And two, if you have a site that's uh, um, like mine where you've got to go up some kind of dirt road or track to get the thing in there, uh, if they come to deliver it, they're likely to bring it on a flatbed uh, trailer or in a big truck, and it may not uh, get to your site easily. Um, this one, because I have a tank exactly like this, I know that I can just drive it right up there and push it off. And one guy, once this thing is untied, can uh, just push this right out of the back of the truck and you see that I've got it with the base sticking out so that when it goes on the ground it's going to be sitting where it's supposed to be rather than backwards. So short and sweet, it's simple, it's cheap, it's practical and if you're trying to do a low cost gravity system uh, you don't want to spend any more money than you have to. You don't have to get real worried about how to tie this thing to your truck. As I said, it only weighs a couple hundred pounds. Here I am just moving it around. So, there's a couple of very cheap ropes. Oh, these came from the hardware store, Harbor Freight. A couple of 10-foot ropes, a couple of bucks a piece. Uh, they don't have to be enormously strong. So I got two of those across. I had another rope, so I put it over diagonally. One around the back to keep it from sliding out. Put some flags on it just for the, the sake of, uh, of argument. And uh, that's all it takes, uh, not brain surgery. Yeah, this is a very high-tech tripod. I got my camera sitting on top of a rotten log. So you're just going to watch me push this thing out of the back here. And we'll see what we get doing this alone. The ideal situation is to have it not fall over and roll down the hill. There we go. So now, your friend, we all know that. I think well, there you go. Finesse was not the uh, watchword here. Also, I didn't uh, tamper level this again, so let's see what we're seeing in the camera here. At this point, I really have another person here. I'm going to back the truck up so this gets away with it from me. It doesn't roll down the hill.
This is absolutely funkadelic here. Take the lid off so I got something to grab. I don't know if I can do this alone. Uh, I think I need a second person. This didn't happen the way I wanted it to. I wanted to get the truck backed up to the thing and unload it right on the pad. And now I've got myself in a corner. I think this is more than one guy can do. Yeah. So I gotta have I gotta have help. So, I've outsmarted myself here, but uh, anyway, it's off the truck and it's on the, leaning on the pad at least. And uh, if I'd worked smarter, this wouldn't have ended up this way, but oh well. So there it is. So uh, I'll get somebody to help me and we'll lift up the far end and uh, drag it, angle it up the bank here and uh, stand it on its bottom, turn around and orient it the right way and uh, we'll be good. But anyway, there it is. And uh, lucky to get it, probably the last one in Northern California this size.